Hi guys, welcome back to this video tutorial on JSF Framework and JDBC Project Example. In the previous videos, uh, we saw how to configure a JSF Eclipse uh, project, how to create a view based on a JSF template and insert in it a table component where to uh, list the employees of our Java application, and then how to create a method for uh, the creation of a table in the database using a JDBC API. Now we will see how to uh, execute the, the, this method for the creation of table um, when the JSF application starts. To do so we will use the system event listener class of JSF. It is one of the mechanisms of a JSF framework to manage the system event. The other one is the uh, method binding, binding. Let's create a Java class which implement the uh, system event listener interface class of JSF. Okay, um, let's uh, copy and paste the base code of this uh, class. As you can see, this class implements the system event listener interface class of JSF. Um, the method that is uh, executed when a system event happens is a process event. Uh, in it, there is a test to see uh, what kind of uh, uh, system event uh, is happening. There are two kinds of uh, system events that here can be managed. The first one is a post-construct application event that happens when the application starts. The other one is a, a pre-destroy application event that is that um, happened happens when uh, uh, the application is shut down. Okay, uh, so uh, we, we will use uh, this one, the post-construct application event, to um, execute the method for the creation of the table in the database. And here we are going to call the method that is a uh, create employee table of the employees bo, uh, bo class uh, to create the table in the database. So Okay, this is the object to use to call the method, and then we can create uh, call the call the, um, the method. Now we have to register this uh, class in the configuration file of JSF, which is uh, basis config.xml file. Um, okay, um, let's copy and paste the um, uh, configuration of this uh, uh, listener. This, uh, this tag. Okay, um, here there are two tags. Uh, one for uh, the post contract application event and the other one for the pre-destroyed application event. Uh, uh, each uh, tag um, maps the class that we uh, we have uh, created um, custom system event listener with the event so that uh, uh, JSF um, framework uh, knows that uh, this is the class to call when uh, this kind of event happens. It's all ready to run our application and to create the table. Uh, as we can see here in the um, 
uh, uh, the table folder is uh, empty at the moment. Before uh, starting uh, our application, we have to uh, close this connection to avoid conflict with the connection that uh, the application will uh, will create. And uh, okay, now run on server. So we can see the table uh, in the view at the moment uh, mm, empty because uh, uh, the method um, is uh, empty. And uh, let's see here in the database. Oh, we have to stop before the application to avoid con uh, to avoid the conflict. Table okay, there is the employee table with the, the column, the sorry, and number, company, last name, first name, uh, and uh, ID, which are that one of that uh, uh, listed into, into the create table uh, uh, SQL uh, query. Okay, that's all. In next video, we will see how to retrieve data from the database using a JDBC select query. Thank you for your attention.